Hi all, Ian here for Cambercolian Rail Lines. So I'll be your tour guide once again. Uh, just a quick update on what we're doing here. We're looking at the uh, basically the south end of the uh, the new room. And uh, if you remember from the last video, all these tables here they were square corners. I, I'm not a big fan of square, so uh, I've kind of rounded the edges on all of the tables and I've added this one right in the middle there just that one little piece and what it's going to do it's going to accommodate a little plastic uh, tote case I guess if you will that I can pull out and use that when I'm uh, working in the uh, or working on building models uh, as you can see I've got the, the power there now and I've got a light up above I'll switch it on maybe in a sec here and you can have a look at that but as you know the table pulls out 30 inches put a chair in front of it and work away uh, and going down the free will got fascia on everything now and I like I say I've rounded the edges and I've used the same trick I did it's all plywood fascia on this end and uh, I've used the same trick I just ran curves in the back of it so I could easily bend it I just bend it around the curves all right, then here we are at the infamous uh, hole in the wall, and there's the uh, the lower level coming from the new section, and up here will be the upper level. And uh, what we're going to do is run it down through here and to the other hole in the wall. Which is on this side. Now, what I didn't like, uh, I had this, if you remember, all pre-done and it had that tunnel on here I don't know if I can there that's better if you remember the tunnel that was on there well I've taken up the tunnel and I've taken all the track off here and down around and when you get down to the far end there that uh, that raised uh, element I had in there, the piece of board that I was going to put the uh, the mountain scene on, I've taken all that out, and what we're going to do is uh, redo it all because there will be three levels in here now. And uh, coming back the other way, I've got that board is just hanging there. I don't think that's a finished product. But I started in the corner here. Now this that will be the the top level. And that'll be coming straight off. There's another rise of probably an inch and a half. So we're probably looking at 48 from the other room. Probably 49, maybe 50 inches when we get to that point. And basically the track will go there, run level along there, down to the end. Come out on a 6x6 six six piece of plywood, raise once again up to the uh, 50 inch level and then kind of come back loop around back over by the uh, grain elevator there and basically run where that board is kind of hanging there back up to the raised element down the wall and back to the hole again and then that will take to the uh, south lake and I'll cut this now for a second I'll rejoin you in a sec Alrighty, so the new lower section is basically going to come out where this track came out of the wall before. It's just got to be raised I don't know, about an inch and a half, maybe two inches there. And it'll be a smoother curve. This was a pretty tight curve around here. And it was a pretty uh, aggressive uh, elevation. It, it ran probably 3.5%. So what I want to do is take that down and make it a maybe a two percent grade so run it back here take a nice wide smooth cut to the track maybe bring it down over top of that diesel down there and then bring it back down this way and we'll come 
past the roundhouse there. And once again, it'll be up about half the height now of the other wall. So if that's say 50, this will be uh, roughly 40 inches, 40, 42 inches. And once again, a big swooping curve back onto itself and back to where we started. So I hope that gives you kind of an idea of what, uh, what we're up to. Uh, be a, a fair amount of, well, it wasn't that bad to tear out in here, but uh, it just, uh, I hate on doing what I've already done, but it was necessary. And uh, I guess with that, we'll cut it off now. And uh, I'll get this posted so you can see what's going on. If you have any questions or comments, you know, feel free. Uh, send me a send me a note or comment on the uh, the YouTube. Always glad to hear from you. And until then, take care of yourselves. Bye now.